Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the first episode of Java 101. This uh, tutorial series will teach you the basics of coding in Java uh, that you can then apply to a bunch of different fields of programming that are pretty awesome. Uh, this series is going to start uh, based on the assumption that you have no experience at all in any type of programming, and it's going to progress into some pretty uh, advanced and cool stuff. Um, the one unique thing about this series is that uh, most series, including many of mine in the past, uh, revolve around teaching one topic, making a program based on that topic, and then moving on. But in this series, we're going to actually work towards making a text-based adventure game, uh, or a text-based RPG game, whatever you want to call it. Um, basically, it would just be a little RPG game. You're in a town. You can go fight a monster or, you know, get some food, whatever. Very basic, but uh, everything that we do will be put into that, and I think that it would make it easier to comprehend all of these different topics when they're being applied to, um, to one thing instead of just, here's a topic, here's, some, here's a project, now we're moving on. So that's what we're going to do in this series, and I think it's going to be pretty cool. Um, as I said, this series assumes that you have no experience in programming. If you already um, do some Java and you have an IDE uh, or like Eclipse, you can skip ahead uh, a minute or two. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, uh, we're going to do that right now. Uh, all Java programming is done inside of an IDE or integrated development environment. Uh, it's basically a program that allows you to easily program in Java or any language uh, that it's made for. You could potentially write all of your code in a text editor, but it wouldn't be very efficient because IDEs um, have features like syntax highlighting, automatic tabbing, uh, importing, and, and organization. So you definitely want to use um, an IDE. We're going to use Eclipse because it's completely free and it's pretty much the standard in, you know, a, a decent IDE for Java. So you're going to go to Eclipse.org. The link will, of course, be in the description. And click on Download Eclipse. You will then see at the top Eclipse Standard 4.3.1 or whatever the latest version is. If you have a version that's newer than this, uh, go ahead and get the newer version. It probably won't be too much different than this one. It might just look a little bit different or have some new features. Uh, this video is, of course, being made in uh, 4.3.1. Uh, you're going to want to go ahead and download. The links for your specific operating system will show up here. I'm running a Mac, so Mac showed up. And you're going to want to choose um, which version is right for your Mac. If you're running a newer Mac, you want 64-bit, and if you're running an older Mac, you want, uh, sorry, an older computer, I should say, you would want 32-bit. So once you have that downloaded, you'll get an Eclipse folder, drag the entire folder to a safe place, I put it in Applications, and then you can just open up Eclipse. So that's all we need to do there. When you launch Eclipse for the first time, you will get this uh, workspace launcher window, that will allow you to select a workspace. Um, workspace in Eclipse is basically just the place where all of your projects are stored, just the place on your file system where Eclipse stores everything. So you're going to want to put it in a safe and unintrusive place. I'm going to put it in um, Documents, my YouTube folder, and Java 101, and I made a workspace folder in here. So I'm going to open that up, and that's where my workspace will be. You can choose wherever you want it to go. You also want to check use this as the default and do not ask again. If you don't check that, you'll get this pop-up every single time and there's no reason that you would need to do that. So when you go ahead and click OK, it's going to set up your new workspace. And you'll get this uh, nice welcome to Eclipse window. You can go ahead and click on Workbench up at the top right. And you will see that we are now in the uh, Eclipse workbench. Um, you can go ahead and close out of these tabs, leave Package Explorer, but otherwise nothing else is important. And this is basically where you're going to be doing all of your coding. Um, go ahead and right click in the Package Explorer or you can go up in the corner and we're gonna create a new Java project. 
and we're going to call the project I'm gonna call mine adventure it's a text-based adventure game everything else on this list you don't need to worry about it should all set itself fine go ahead and click finish and you'll get your project uh... the project is just um used by Eclipse to organize, because you can have multiple projects in the same place. Uh, you're going to right click on SRC and do new package. A package in Java is basically, you can think of it as a folder. It basically stores uh, all of your files and when you get into making projects that have a lot of classes you're gonna need packages to keep everything organized. More on that later. Um, now as far as package, excuse me, as far as package naming, it's not terribly important, but the correct way of naming packages is you would take a URL, let's say I open, let's say I own example.com, and the project is called Adventure, I would name my project com.example.adventure, it's always tld, or top level domain, dot url, dot project name and I'm going to name it me dot pogo stick twenty nine dev dot adventure I don't own you know that URL but that's just what I usually name my packages um, then you're gonna right click and say new class and we're gonna name this class uh, we can just call this class main because this is our main class and you will then be taken into uh, the main class right here um, this is basically this is just the outline of a class uh, in Java, and a class is basically just a file that contains uh, information for a for Java code. Now, the first thing that you're going to want to type in is public static void main string uh, square brackets args. You don't really need to know what this method does. All you need to know is that it's the main method, and when I run this program, that is what's going to be called. Um, you'll learn more about what all of these uh, words mean, and you know, and other things later on. But for now, you you can just assume that that's what happens. Everything in here is what happens when the program first runs. Now, uh, as is common with all uh, first-time programmers, uh, your first project is always a Hello World application, or an application that prints out Hello World uh, written in your new language. Uh, in this case, it's Java, and we're going to make a, um, a variation of the Hello World program that welcomes you to the adventure game. So, in order to do this, you're going to want to type in system dot out dot print ln and then in double um, quotations welcome to adventure or whatever your game is called now what we're doing is system is actually a it's a class for it's a java class out represents um, the console, basically printing to the console, and println is a method um, inside of the inside of out that will print out a message. You don't really, if you don't understand that, it's fine. But basically, what we're doing is we're printing out um, this message to uh, to the console. If we go ahead and run this by clicking Run up in the corner, you'll see. That a console window will pop up and it will say welcome to adventure so we just wrote our first uh, little program in Java uh, it will print out welcome to adventure to the console and that's all that we're going to do in this episode uh, we set up and de we downloaded and set up Eclipse uh, we set up a project we made our main method and we printed out text to the home screen so, um, in the next video, we are going to learn about variables, which are a key part of object-oriented programming. As always, uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment with what you want to learn. If you like this video, please click the like button, and I will see you guys very soon with the next installment of Java 101.